come out next. Hey, NBA. You see any scouts watching? Uh-uh. I'd like to win. Hmm. Come back. You'll be disappointed. You're not from around here, are you? How could you guess? The locals prefer sucking. <laughs> I like that. That's funny. You need a logo eyes whipping. I'm Anton. Edward. All of this. <laughs> Oh, this she's excited already. Is Be careful, his wife is, is in the studio. So she's behave a yourself. lucky woman. <laughs> My husband's in Paris. So. <laughs> <laughs> taking it all in, right? All right. Uh, Derek, welcome to the show. Yes. Man, thank you for having Good me. So you. can we talk about selfless? It's Let's talk about these impersonations. Oh, no. Let's talk about her. She <laughs> asked for a critique. No, I didn't. <laughs> Okay, no, so how was my impersonation? You Tell know what? Me. If it's you from had to direct me, what would you say? What would your notes be? I would say it came from your heart. Okay. So you just continue playing on. You know, I don't want to put any restrictions on you. So part of directing is just letting the actors be free. Okay. Yeah, I yeah, like yeah. that. Being free. Yeah, he's ready to, to direct. Give, if you had to give my impersonation a grade, hmm. A through <laughs> F, what would you give me? Hmm. Potential. Potential. Oh, we know what that no, means. No, 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 not at all. I think it was dope. It was dope. Okay, it was dope. good, it was dope. good. P for potential. <laughs> it was, it was, what? That was dope. That was, yeah, okay, trying. can we yeah. talk about selfless Please. before I have, that. like, a, a self-esteem breakdown? No, don't do that. Nah, you was handling it. Okay, it stars Ben Kingsley. He plays mm -hmm. a dying man who actually assumes the body of another person. Yeah. It sounds really trippy, but I'm into it. Tell me more. Um. Well, I play a guy named uh, Ant Anton, and I, I befriend uh, Ryan's character, and I represent uh, living forever, you know, mm -hmm. eternity. And that's what I loved about this movie, is that normally I've done a lot of dramas, yeah. and but I'm drawn to action and thriller. So mm -hmm. I wanted to sell some popcorn. Yeah. And so it wasn't about the size of the role, it was just about being in the right space at the right time. Mm, but yeah. in real life, would you ever want to live forever? Mm. I mean... Maybe in my 20s or 30s or something <laughs> right. like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. A certain space of time, why not? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if you could look like this, I'd live for right. too. No, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll, I'll take, take it. it. People potential. <laughs> so, oh, gosh. We mentioned Ben Kingsley, mm -hmm. huge. Yeah. Ryan Reynolds, also huge. What mm -hmm. was it like to work with these two luminaries? Um, you know, this is my second time working with Ryan. That's right. Mm -hmm. And um, I love Ryan. He was He's always focused, yeah. but always warm in his heart. And, um, you know, from the first time, I just see this dude was in the zone. So it was good for me to see it. Yeah. Because, you know, it's, it's okay to want better. It's true. And want more. And Ben Kingsley, I'm just... Sir Ben. Sir Ben. I'm, yes. just, a, I'm just a fan of his, man. Mm -hmm. He makes the art look easy. Yeah, well, it's a different art for you, sci-fi, and you said you want to sell movie tickets, but what was yeah. it like, and how was it different making a sci-fi film opposed to others that you've been involved in? Uh, the difference between this is that it was a lot more fighting, a lot mm -hmm. of, much more punching, choreograph, uh, more nutritious diets, you know, oh. staying lean, where, you know, in the drama, it's just like, you're just throwing dialogue back and forth. Mm -hmm. Take a break, eat your donut, come back. You know what I'm saying? But, but no, it's just different. No it's donuts different. during this nah, movie. Crab service, yeah, nah, nah, no definitely crab not. Service. What was your workout routine like? Yeah, uh, that's a good question. I want to know. You know what? I actually worked out with a guy named Daryl Foster. He was Will Smith's trainer for a long time. Oh, okay. So he's, he's really good, really intense. Just nutrition. Mm -hmm. But really intense workout. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What yeah. did you have to give up that you were like, oh, mm. I want what did that I have again? to give up? I had to give up a lot of the New Orleans restaurants because oh. that's mm. where we filmed it. You know. Oh no, you were yeah, New Orleans. I was in it? New Orleans, oh. so you know. I that's had, tragic. Yeah, I had one meal a week. <gasps> one meal. What was one your favorite? Meal. Chicken and waffles. Yeah. Chicken and waffles. Because oh, they make God. chicken and waffles better than some places. I'm not even gonna call them out, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying. I but it, it was it was good. Wow. Can we talk about Antoine Fisher for Please. a minute? Let's do it. How did that role change your career and mm. change you as a person? I mean, it launched you, but yeah. talk to us specifically about what impact it had on you. Um, the impact that Antoine uh, Fisher had on me, it, it gave me an idea of what excellence was. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's like, you know, a kid, you're growing up in your mom's house, and when you get older, you understand that you were living under your parents' guidance and how they really was, you know, uh, guiding you through life, paying for everything. And with Antoine, I realized that I had Denzel. Mm -hmm. I had all this experience. And so it doesn't mean you can't have other 
Antoine's, but now you have to apply what you think you know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's true. So th that's the first thing that comes to my heart is just finding out who I am in the business and doing it with excellence. Yeah, and that was actually Denzel Washington's directorial debut, mm -hmm. debut yeah. in that movie. Yeah. What was it like to have him there? And do you still talk to him, ask him for advice? Because yes. he entrusted you with a very important role for his first film. Mm -hmm. um, you know, what's the great thing about working with uh, Denzel for my first time? I remember him saying to me, he says, you know, Derek, it's just, it's just film. And I think to be a leader, you have to lead people sometimes in courage, mm -hmm. not necessarily the talent. And because I think, you know, God gives you the talent and nobody can really give that to you. But you, you have good coaches that can really direct you in the way you should go. Mm. OK, yeah. we have to talk about Notorious. Let's bring yes. it. We yes. mentioned Diddy <laughs> earlier. Yeah, that's right. OK, so what do you make of him swinging on the coach with a kettlebell? Allegedly. Uh, yeah, allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. Well, you studied uh, him, so what he. Hmm. What do you think of you know that? You know what? I only got about a week and a half with Puff, <laughs> you know, because it was a last minute thing. But what I would say is that from a guy I knew, he's a really committed father. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so if he didn't have all the money and fame, you were just like, hey, it was just a father taking taking heads for his kid. Mm -hmm. The metal, the iron could be a little intense, yeah. but, you know, I'm, I'm not... I'm not judging them. I don't have kids. One so of my that. favorite parts of Notorious is you mm. doing the Diddy dance. Uh, Can you show us a little, little, <laughs> what? Little, no, little, little no. shoulder action? Come no, on. No. You know what? I was I was somewhere at a party, <laughs> and I think I was doing Puff, and he was there. Oh no! Oh, yeah, no. and he was like, "Yo, fam, you better give me my dance back." I was like. <laughs> Officially, I'm done. He it's it. I was having fun. I was just kind of, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I was like, ah, he was like, he was like, D, no mm. more. No, no more. more. I was like, okay. Oh. He was smiling, but he was like, mm, I'm glad that's you my stopped. Joint. You might got you know hit with a kettlebell. Nah, no, I ain't going there. See? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, one of the topics I'm excited to speak to you about mm -hmm. is your steamy love scenes with Taraji P. Henson. Oh, oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Empire. I mean, it is one of the mm -hmm. hottest shows out right now. Yeah. First of all, what's it like to work with her? And I'm sorry, act like your wife isn't here and kiss her. Yeah, <laughs> yeah for okay. sure, man. What's it like filming those scenes? You know what? It's uh, It was uncomfortable for me, but it was. It was great uh, because my wife is the one who encouraged me. Yeah. Really? Because she's an actress. Okay. Um, and I saw her do a kissing scene. It was it was kind of uncomfortable, but mm -hmm. I know, you know, that's my girl. I'm coming home with her. Yeah. But she's the one that told me, she's like, D, if you want to do it, do it right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it was, was kind of odd. <laughs> right, you better kiss you know that girl good. Yeah, kiss that girl, you know what I'm saying? But it was, it was dope, you know, because it's respect. I love Taraji, man. She... Mm -hmm. She's always been doing it. She's always focused and passionate. And that's yeah. how the whole set was. Everybody passionate about the art. She's mm. a great girl. I sat down with her last week. So oh, really? that's going to be a great interview. Yeah. Coming up later in later the show, show. Oh, stick word? around. Oh, yeah. that's what's up. <laughs> back to your love scene with uh -huh. Taraji. Bring it on. Bring it on. What's up? What's up? <laughs> so are you coming back for season two of Empire? You know, I'm presently shooting a show called Rogue in uh, Toronto. Oh, okay. And Empire is starting up. Oh. I am, I am open. I would love to come back. But, I, uh, you know, because of how great Empire was, it was like, you know, yeah. let's do a show. So yeah. I was, it was dope. You know, to have that season type of three, then. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah I, got, I got to come back. Man. You weren't killed, so there's always space for you yeah, to return. Yeah, That's a good no, thing. You nah. just went to D.C. Right. Yeah. yeah, I just went to D.C. <laughs> what a little trip. You no. can take the Estella back. Right. Yeah, I don't think I would have showed up if it said I got shot. I was like, <laughs> that, mm, nah. Yeah, mm. good. Now tell us more about Rogue. It's on direct TV, right? Yeah. Okay. It's, it's, it's a... It's sort of a guy living a, a double life. You mm -hmm. know, he owns this high, this high-end chandelier shop, but on the side, he's part of this uh, gang. And so the triad of the story is that this attorney uh, feels like he owes him more than he does, so it creates this tension between their relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's dope. It's it's a great, well-oiled machine. Oh, yeah. Like that. yeah. Oh, dear. Thank you so <laughs> much for being yes. here. Thank you. Can for you Diddy me. dance us to break? Uh oh, we'll Diddy <laughs> with you. We'll Diddy with you. I can cowbell you to break. Oh, <laughs> well, I, I can go. I can do it. Nah, nah, nah. No nah, nah. violence. No That's violence. my man. Paul, Kettlebell me to break. Paul, oh. I don't know what happened, but you know I'm with you, fam. Uh, I you got know. the support, and we'll definitely be supporting you yes. when Selfless hits theaters yes. on July 10th. Mm -hmm. Make sure you check it yeah. out. Get your popcorn ready. Yes. Yeah, we'll Thank be right you. back. You're watching Arise Entertainment 360.